Deep in the ocean, in a kingdom of coral and pearl, lived a lovely little mermaid, an underwater girl. She had the body of a girl, but the fins of a fish. She'd swim quickly through the water, and her tail would go swish. She had a beautiful voice and sang all day. Among the fish and shells, she'd sing songs and play. One day she saw a very big ship sail near, with lots of people in it, full of joy and cheer. Happy birthday, Prince, the mermaid heard them say, as they ate and drank and danced the night away. Suddenly, a storm began. The waves grew very high. The ship tossed in the water and thunders filled the sky. The prince fell overboard and got carried by a wave. The people shouted, Who can help? We need somebody brave. And just when he couldn't swim any more, the mermaid came and caught him and pulled him to shore. She tried to gently shake him. You are safe on the shore. He called out to the endless waves. Come back, come out of the sea. You saved my life. That voice of yours will always stay with me. The mermaid thought, The ocean fairy may just lend a hand. She'll give me legs, and then I will be free to live on land. The fairy said, I'll help you out, but nothing comes for free. I'll give you legs, but mermaid dear, your voice stays here with me. And just like that, the ocean fairy blinked and twitched her chin. And then two legs appeared, just where the mermaid's tail had been. The prince remembered the mermaid as he walked on the sand. And he was sad that she was underwater and he was on land. He saw a lonely girl with eyes of blue and hair so blonde. He talked to her and asked her questions, but she did not respond. He finally said, it's cold, come to my castle, if you will. She followed him, but didn't say a word. Her tongue was still. In the castle, the mermaid didn't really know just what to do. She'd never lived outside the water. Everything was new. Forks and knives and silver plates, cups inlaid with pearl. They were just like the clamshell she had drunk from as a girl. For many days the mermaid was a silent guest, never saying a word, though she did her best. Then out of the blue, the prince recalled one day the very girl who'd rescued him and quickly gone away. He drew her near and kissed her tenderly upon her cheek. The spell was broken 
and the little mermaid could now speak. They married in the castle to the sound of wedding bells. They walked together down an aisle paved with clams and shells. And to this day, if you listen as the waves dance on the shore, you'll hear the mermaid's song of lovers who will part no more. The End <laughs>